the recommendation that I got from uh, Dr. Rafa today is like you should hold on to your friends, the Americans, because they're more honest. And when it comes to um, truthful, uh, when, they, when it comes to things like that, then the And I'm also certain that any project, if the Americans don't get involved, it will be a failure. And I also, I'm also certain that if the Americans are serious and they really want to truly want to establish security in Iraq, they, they could establish security. Because they're truthful. And that's why I'm asking you, Sir General, Sir General and uh, Sir General Gaskin, not to allow the militias from Karbala to infiltrate into Nukhid. Because right now the problems in Baghdad, the Sunnis cannot even take their sons or their children to the hospital for treatment. And they're, they're trying and they're striving to do the same type of uh, act uh, in uh, in and that's why I'm asking you please uh, to uh, identify the borders that were given to you on that uh, newspaper. newspaper by Dr. Oh, Rafa. And we should hold on to that. We have talked to the central government and there is no intent to change the borders of Iran. Uh, and if we have any indications that there are, we're going to go straight to Ambassador Crocker. Uh, uh, it serves like the way that they're going to change that is like that their plan is to open 50 stations on the border. And they will bring uh, forces from Baghdad. And this way the militias, the, that's how the militias enter. Well, they, they aren't. I can just tell you that they're not. And we, we forced a militia out of Rahalia two nights ago. This is the way it works. We tell them to leave. And if they don't leave, we run a fighter over them at low altitude. With a light, may have room, the Zillum helicopter, and a helicopter, a fighter. If they don't leave after that, the third time they come over, they drop the bombs off. Marata, in a may have room, Marata, right on the canal. Sudania, I love force. Now, let me let me make a point though. The reason they were in Rahalia was to guard a Shia shrine. <laughs> but if there is a Shia shrine in Rahalia, we have a responsibility to guard it for them, so they don't have to feel like they have to. But if there is a Shia shrine in Rahalia, we have a responsibility to guard it for them, so they don't have to feel like they that keeps sectarianism, the Shia Sunni problem, from happening. Because we take the responsibility for that. We will not tolerate them bringing force into Anbar province. The big challenge ahead for all of us, and we need your help on this, is to protect the pilgrims during the Hajj. So that no pilgrim who passes through the Anbar province has anything to worry about. Whether you are Sunni or you are Shia, 
You can worship in the Hajj and not be afraid for your life in the Anbar province. That's going to be with your help, sir. We will help. Although we cannot do that. I know, but we will help you. Uh, we're prepared, sir. We're ready. Yes, 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 yes. He's asking if this is what? Well.